I'm kind of cold and windy and miserable today.
Huh? I said that. I know. I know. I know. I I'm going to put you on camera while I'm here. It's going to be a beat button. It's going to be a beat button. Yeah, it's going to be a beat button. Yeah, it has, John. Beep up the words here, like a tower. Get a blanket for her, Annie. Not my blanket.
Okay.
How you doing? I'm gonna smile. Probably what it is, for sure. One more bit. I'm sliding by you, bud. Yeah, it's a bad one, too. Who's get eight starts? We all are going first. No second, three first. What's that, Russ? My brother. Down in New York. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's been down here for a while. All was in progress. This was just the other day, March 7th. When Kirby was down. Remember about the Scarborough and the Semmel cast? Who did? Kirby. You went to Scarborough? Yeah, I was down there for three or four days. You were going to go there. How come? Send them blocks of practice. They took off three or four days. Huh? 
Tim and Bob Kirkpatrick took off for a few days, went down to Scarborough, went to the dog. Where's that dog place down there? Sorry. That'd be Yonkers? No, the, the simulcast is in Scarborough from Yonkers and Pompano Meadowlands. Uh -oh. That's how they got all these You don't mind the water up on your face, eh, John? No, I, I don't. I don't hold your face. No. Hey, Jimmy Swallow, can you offer? Good. Jimmy Swallow. Oh, can't come out of the box, eh, Tyler? Yeah, you get back in, though, didn't you? Did he? I see you, you got that eye on one of Joey's, that eye on this one when you slashed two. You offer? Yeah. You want me to wait and go comb your hair?
number four, don't forget 50-50, finish your time here, throw your friends there. It's all three, four dollars, and they're all the same place sometimes. After the seven break, there is after the five minutes, seven opponents, so I'm going to number four.
The starter has the horses, race number six, eight pacers, B, behind the gate, one, getaway down, two, class and jig time, three, rocky fella, four, Paris down, five, road eyes, six, Hillview precious, seven, West Valley first, on the outside eight, that's au revoir, Pasha, here they come. Pacing class and jig time out to take control in the early going. Getaway down. Racing in second. He'll view Precious up on the outside now to third. Oravoir Pasha will take a seat fourth. Then it is Rocky Fella up on the outside now. West Valley first drives on to fifth spot. Racing in seventh is Paris down. And the early trailer is Road Eyes. Now he'll view Precious takes charge and leads it a length and a half over class and jig time. West Valley first hustles up on the outside now third, now second and wings for the top. He grabs it away from Hillview Precious as they go by to quarter in 33 seconds. Rounding the turn with West Valley first. Hillview Precious second, then it is class and jig time third. Getaway down has fourth, then au revoir Pasha. Rocky Fella in sixth, then it's Paris down and Road Eyes as they swing off the top turn and come down the stretch for the opening half, single file with West Valley first on top by a length and a half. Hillview Precious has second. Class and jig time to third, then racing up on the outside now. Au revoir, Pasha moves on to third and drives for the top. Now second and gets to the leader's wheel. The half and 105 and two and au revoir, Pasha assumes control. West Valley first, now second. Then it's Hillview Precious third. On the outside, getaway down has fourth with class and jig time pacing in fifth. Paris down out and driving sixth. Then racing in seventh, it's Rocky Fella, and the trailer Road Eyes now right back at him, goes West Valley first, and shows a nose on top. Then it is Au Revoir Pasha, the inside second. Getaway down a tight third, with Hillview Precious fourth. The three quarters reached in 137 and four, with Au Revoir Pasha and West Valley first. Going three wide, that's class and jig time, now fourth, now third, and driving after the leaders. Getaway down has fourth, then it's Hillview Precious, Paris down, Rocky Fella and Road Eyes, they're tipping out three wide off the top turn, and class and jig time moves on to the front. Then it is West Valley first and getaway down on the far outside, Rocky Fella. As they come to the line, class and jig time wins it, Rocky Fella for second, and it's tight for show between Getaway Down and Au Revoir Pasha. And the time for that mile? Two, ten, and three.
parading back to the line, your winner of the sixth race, it's number two, Class and Jig Time. Bred and owned by Blaine Hannay of Rexton. He's trained and driven to victory by Wayne Mahar, this three-year-old filly by Knightley Blue Chip. From the dam, Bond Flash. The half-sister to co-track record holder Angel Shadow. And Jig Time Knievel picks up her first lifetime win in just her second start in 2, 10, and 3 this afternoon. That's number two, Class and Jig Time, and Wayne Mahar. Eight starters B, behind the gate for race number six. One, Rocky Fella. Two, Paris Down. Three, Road Eyes. Four, Some Nice Bird. Five, Getaway Down. Six, Class and Jig Time. Seven, Northwind JR. Eight on the outside is Hillview Precious. Gate is at the head of the stretch, and here they come. Pacing Northwind JR is off stride. Up on the outside to take control early is Class and Jig Time. As they go on round that turn, Road Eyes is second with some nice bird third. Getaway down, tucking in fourth now. Hillview Precious drives fifth on the outside. Then racing in sixth. On the outside and back pacing is Northwind JR. Then it's Paris down and the early trailer Rocky Fella as they go down the back stretch for the opening quarter. Class and Jig Time shows the way. Some nice bird second on the outside with Road Eyes third. Then it's Hillview Precious and Getaway Down. Paris Down has sixth. Northwind JR and Rocky Fella Trails. They were by the quarter in 33 seconds flat. Rounding the turn for the three eighths with Class and Jig Time. Some nice bird second. Road Eyes third. Then it's Hillview Precious and Getaway Down racing in fifth. Northwind JR has sixth on the outside followed by Paris Down. And moving three wide from the back of the pack is Rocky Fella. As they come down the stretch for the opening half, Class and Jig Time has had her way. Racing in second, that's Road Eyes. Hillview Precious moving third. The half and 106, hustling up on the outside. Three wide, that's Rocky Fella. Now six, now fifth, and going after the leaders. Rounding the barn turn now for the five eights with Class and Jig Time leading it by two lengths. Over Road Eyes and Hillview Precious now gets some racing room from third and she tips to the outside to challenge the leaders. Some Nice Bird has fourth between horses with Rocky Fella, three wide fifth. Then it's Getaway Down, Paris Down, and Northwind JR on the way to the three-quarter mile post with Class and Jig Time. Road Eyes in the pocket. Hillview Precious third on the outside. Three quarters, 139 and three. On the outside now to fourth is Rocky Fella. Then it's Getaway Down, Some Nice Bird, Paris Down, and Northwind JR. Over an eighth of a mile to go, and here they come for the payoff. Class and Jig Time now leads by two. Road Eyes hanging tough in second. On the inside now, third is Getaway down the far outside. Rocky Fella pacing hard. Coming to the line, Class and Jig Time and Rocky Fella, but to the payoff, it's going to be Class and Jig Time to win it. Over Rocky Fella, looks like Hillview Precious. 4-3, the time for the mile. 2-11-4. Parading back to the line, your winner of the sixth race, it is number six, Class and Jig Time. Bred and owned by Blaine Hannay of Rexton, a three-year-old filly by Knightley Blue Chip from the dam Bond Flash. Parading back for her second straight win for trainer driver Wayne Mahar. Class and Jig Time, two for three now on this season, pacing the off track today in two, 11, and four. That's number six, Class and Jig Time and Wayne Mahar. The starter has the horses, race number four. A field of seven. One, Class and Jig Time. Two, Confident Sabra. Three, Calavri to Jessica. Four, Who's Your General? Five, L.F. Dorothy. Six, Inverness Beauty. The outside seven, Edgewater Amber. Here they come. They're off and pacing Calavri to Jessica. Scoots on to the front. Who's your general up on the outside to challenge? Class and Jig Time moving away quickly as well. 
as they go on round that turn. Now class and jig time prevails from the pole position. And who's your general drive second? Racing in third is Calavri to Jessica. Moving fourth in Verness Beauty has found the inside. As they go down the back stretch for the opening quarter, who's your general? Now drives on to the top. Class and jig time settles for second with Calavri to Jessica third. Then it is Inverness Beauty, LF Dorothy. Confident Sabra moves to the outside from sixth, and the trailer is Edgewater Amber. The opening quarter in 32 and 1. Rounding the turn now for the 3 8 with Hoosier General holding a three and a half length lead over Class and Jig Time. Inverness Beauty now has moved to the outside from third. Then it is Calavri to Jessica fourth. They swing off the top turn and come down the stretch for the opening half. Racing fifth on the outside as they come in front of the stand is Confident Sabra. Then moving sixth, LF Dorothy goes to the outside as well, and the trailer is now Edgewater Amber. Past the half with Hoosier General. His lead has been cut to a half length now with Inverness Beauty up to challenge by the half and 105 and 3. Rounding the barn turn for the 5 8 with Hoosier General and Inverness Beauty. Class and jig time poised in the pocket. Confident Sabra now drives to fourth on the outside. Cattle to Jessica has fifth. Then it is Edgewater Amber and LF Dorothy starts to move from the back of the pack. There goes Confident Sabra out three wide as they go down the backside for the final time. Confident Sabra drives on to the front. She's followed by Class and Jig Time with a bold three wide move past the three quarters in 139 and four as they go on for the seven eights. Confident Sabra has some competition now from Class and Jig Time. Inverness Beauty is third and LF Dorothy has moved to fourth on the outside. Who's your general? Fading fifth at the rail. They come off the seven eights and drive down the stretch for home. On top now on the outside as they come for the line. Coming to the line on the far outside, LF Dorothy driving for class and jig time to the payoff. LF Dorothy with a late charge to win it. Class and jig time gets second and it looks like Edgewater Amber on the outside for show and the time for that mile. 2.13 and two. Now the starters for our third race. They're at the gate. Gate is moving for race number three as the starters approach the head of the stretch. Ajo's breath is scratched. We have Lanky Boone with Mike Campbell. Salem Stryker and Gordy Hennessy. Crested Ten and Todd Trites. Deputy Down, Steve Mason. Who's your general, Rick Armstrong. And from the outside, class and jig time, Steve Mahar. Six starters for the third race. Here they come. They're off and leaving the line from post four goes Crested Ten, bidding for the top Salem Striker. On the inside to second as they race into the first turn. Bit rough there in the first and early going as Crested Ten bids for the top. Salem Striker has the second. Now Class and Jig Time moves to third as they pass the eighth pole and goes on, driving on for the lead. Crested Ten has it. That's Class and Jig Time bidding second now on the outside for the front. On the rail third is Salem Striker. Then it's Lanky Boone in fourth. Deputy down fifth, and the trailer is Hoosier General. Pacing the quarter, 30 and one fifth is Class and Jig Time, and grabs the front. Driving into the turn, they head to the 3 8 pole. Class and Jig Time on top now, a length, then the quarter. Crested 10 racing second, Salem Striker has third, with Lanky Boone racing in fourth as they tip off the turn and come racing down the stretch. Here they come, they're driving to the half, and Class and Jig Time shows the way now. On the rail is Crested 10 second. Then Salem, a striker, and Lanky Boone off the rail to challenge. They hit the half and 101 and 1, and Deputy Down has fifth. The trailer is Hoosier General. There they go into the second to turn once again, racing to the 5 8 pole. Class and Jig Time has opened up two links now. Crested 10 and on the outside, Lanky Boone is on the move, and they hit the 5 8 and up the backstretch. Out from second comes Crested 10 to challenge. To the three quarters, Class and Jig Time, three quarters of a length. Crested 10 is challenging, looking for room. Salem striker Lanky Boone hangs forth on the outside. Three quarters, 133 and two. Into the turn, class and jig time a length and a quarter again. Crested 10, tipping out three wide is Lanky Boone. Salem striker deputy down. Who's your general trails class and jig time? Has them by two as they hit the seven eights off the top turn. And here they come through the stretch for home. 
It's class and jig time. Going to have to catch him. It'll be a job. Here comes Lanky Boone on the outside. So is Deputy Down. It's going to be class and jig time. Lanky Boone and uh, here they are at the line. Class and jig time. Lanky Boone. Crested 10. Deputy Down. Salem Striker. And who's your general? Time for the mile, 2.05 and 2. Parading back now, the winner of our third race. It's number seven, Class and Jig Time. A fellow three years by Knightley Blue Chip out of Bond Flash. She by Flash About. Owned by Blaine Hannay of Rexton and Wayne Mahar and Stuart McGregor of St. John. Trained by Wayne Mahar, Steve Mahar driving today. Class and Jig Time. Steps to her third win from seven Lifetime starts this afternoon, stepping to a new win race record of 2.05 and 2. Number 7, class and jig time, 2.5 and 2, a new record. Steve Mahar driving. Race number eight of the evening, B division of the three-year-old pacing fillies has Lady Denison, Class and Jig Time, Rasputin's Dream, Silverwood Misty, Island Promise, West River Frida, Everon Breeze, and West River Fortune. They're off into pacing, class and jig time. Rasputin's dream gathered back in along the rail. That's Lady Dennison darting out for the lead. Lady Dennison and on the outside, class and jig time is racing second. Looking to tuck in third is West River Frita coming away sitting in four as they continue down the back stretch is West River Fortune from five in the early going. 
That is number three, Rasputin's Dream. Single file as they head past the quarter. On top, Lady Dennison, not content in the pocket and driving up on the outside. That's Klaas and Jig Time looking for the lead. Now gathered back once again is Klaas and Jig Time. Lady Dennison moves on by a length and a half. Klaas and Jig Time second. Two and a half back to West River Frida third. West River Fortune is fourth. From five off the top turn is Rasputin's Dream. They were by the quarter in 28 and one. They move up to the halfway point. Lady Dennison continuing on the front end, charting the path by a length and a half. Second, that's class and jig time. West River Fortune moving up into three. West River Frida is fourth. Rasputin's Dream looking to the outside in five. Silverwood Misty races from six. Holding down seven is Otten Promise. And eighth and lagging behind the field as they head for the backside. That's Aberon Breeze. They were by the half in a lightning fast 57 and 4. On down the backstretch, Lady Dennison setting a torrid pace, drawing clear now by five lengths. Second is Klaassen Jig Time racing along in three and moving to the outside. That's West River Fortune. They continue on past the 7-8s. 127 and four, the three quarters. Lady Dennison is drawing out by five, six open lengths. Second is Klaassen Jig Time racing third. West River Fortune through the lane for the final time. It's all Lady Dennison demolishing the field, drawing clear, and it's Lady Dennison and by a dozen lengths, second is class and jig time, and third is West River Fortune. Now back in victory lane, the eighth race winner. Lonnie Sire Stake, three-year-old pacing Philly B Division, number one, Lady Dennison. A bay daughter of the Denman, out of the damn Rushaway metric, owned by Gerald Alexander of Sussex, New Brunswick, trained by Lonnie Stokes, and catch driven to victory by Dave Carey. Lady Dennison in a new life's mark of 158 and four-fifths. Joe Kennedy, Nova Scotia Director of the Atlantic Standard Bread Breeders Association, making the Kudo presentation. $6,200 on the line in the Barry O. McIsaac Memorial. We have a field of eight. One Peggy O'Neill, two Call Me High Hope, three Top Quality First, four Dexter's Crown, five Riverside Jaguar, six Denacton Magnum, seven Class and Jig Time, the outside eight, mine of his own. Here they come. They're off and pacing quickly, looking for the lead. Top quality first in the middle of the track. They're five wide going for the front. Call me high hope between horses. Racing at the pylons, Peggy O'Neill battling for the top. On the inside, Peggy O'Neill, the outside top quality first. And call me high hope has chosen to look at it from third. Racing in fourth, that's Riverside Jaguar. Driving fifth, Dexter's crown. Then it is mine of his own, Denacton Magnum in the trailer, class and jig time, as they go on past the quarter in 29 and 2. Off stride, Denacton Magnum at the back, as they move on for the 3 8 mile station. The filly shows the way. Peggy O'Neill over, racing in second, call me high hope. They're off the 3 8 and coming down the stretch for the half. Racing in third now and moving to the outside as they pass in front of the stand for the first time is Riverside Jaguar. Moving out three wide with a rush, mine of his own. Driving now to fourth as they go past the half. Call Me High Hope is on the lead and they're by that station in one minute and two fifth seconds. Racing in second, Peggy O'Neill. Riverside Jaguar has third, driving fourth, Dexter's Crown. Then moving fifth, still three wide on the outside, mine of his own. And in between horses, in sixth, that is top quality first class and jig time in the trailer. Denact and Magnum is out of contention. They go down the backside, final time. Call Me High Hope leads it by two. Peggy O'Neill pocket sitting second, past the three quarters in 130. Call Me High Hope and Peggy O'Neill. Mine of his own now has come to third. He's gone the long mile on the outside. Dexter's crown very much in the thick of things fourth. 
Class and Jig Time has come to fifth as they come off the top turn. Here comes Peggy O'Neill to try Call Me High Hope once again. Call Me High Hope and Peggy O'Neill. Dexter's crown strong at the pylons and mine of his own. Dexter's crown on the inside with a rush. Dexter's crown and Call Me High Hope. It's tight at the line. We'll need a picture and the time for that mile. 2.01. Now the starter has the horses, race number two, eight pacers, B, behind the gate, one class and jig time, two sweet Miss Marlowe, three bounding Basque, four the Rust Man, five Tatran Express, six Cape Cove Land, seven West River again, the outside eight is Bonds Boy, here they come. Racing class and jig time gets the first call. The Rust Man going for the early lead. Sweet Miss Marlowe gets away sharply as well. As they move on for the opening eighth, class and jig time takes them out of there. Sweet Miss Marlowe second. Moving to third now on the inside is Cape Cove Land. There goes Sweet Miss Marlowe winging for the top and takes it away from class and jig time. Cape Cove Land has third now. The Rust Man fourth. Tatran Express is in fifth. Then bounding Basque, West River again. The early trailer is Bonds Boy. Past the opening quarter in 30 and 2. Sweet Miss Marlowe leads it by a length and a half. Class and Jig Time racing the pocket. In third, that is Cape Cove Land with the Rust Man fourth. Tatran Express fifth. Then bounding Basque moving to the outside from sixth. West River again, seventh and Bonds Boy as they swing off the top turn and pace in front of the stand for the first time. Sweet Miss Marlowe leads the way, racing second class in jig time. That is Cape Cove Land in third, the Rust Man fourth, Tatran Express closing the gap in fifth, past the opening half in 102 and one. West River again has six, then bounding Basque and Bonds Boy. They pace on for the five eights. It's still Sweet Miss Marlowe. Class and jig time second. Out from third goes Cape Cove Land, the Rust Man still in the hunt fourth. Then it's Tatran Express, West River again, Bonds Boy and Bounding Basque. They go down the backside, final time. It's all Sweet Miss Marlowe. The Rust Man is out and pacing three wide as they go by the three-quarter station. In 133, Sweet Miss Marlowe, the Rust Man is in pursuit. Racing in third class and jig time. Then it is Cape Cove Land, Tatran Express, West River again, Bonds Boy and Bounding Basque. Off the seven eights, they come down the stretch for the payoff. Sweet Miss Marlowe trying to hold off the Rust Man. Racing in third, it's still class and jig time as they come for the wire. Sweet Miss Marlowe and the Rust Man at the payoff. It's gonna be Sweet Miss Marlowe to win it. The Rust Man for second and class and jig time up for the show. The time for that mile, 2.04. Now the starter has the Phillies, race number nine, a purse of over 9,700, four spots still available in this afternoon's final of the GM Goodwrench Maritimer. Eight Phillies behind the gate, one class and jig time, three Woodmere Patty, four Harrods Root, five Klona Kilty, six Bread Machine, seven Island Paragon, the outside eight Hillview, precious one trailer nine is Charlotte's Brit. Here they come. And pacing Harrods Root is going to battle Woodmere Patty for the early lead. Racing in third class and jig time. Island Paragon gets away in fourth. Clonic Hilty the outside fifth. Then it's Charlotte's Brit, Hillview Precious. The early trailer is Bread Machine as they go past the eighth and straightening out into the backstretch for the quarter. Woodmere Patty leads them by two. Class and jig time has second. Harrods Root has taken cover at the pylons in third. Racing in fourth, that's Island Paragon with Charlotte's Brit fifth. Klona Kilty has six on the outside. The opening quarter, 29 and four. Hillview Precious is seventh and Bread Machine trailing. On their way to the three eights with Woodmere Patty showing the way. Class and Jig Time has second now. Island Paragon full of pace on the outside. She drives on to third. Harrods Root has fourth at the pylons. Then Klona Kilty, Charlotte's Brit, Bread Machine and Hillview Precious. They pass in front of the stand for the first time and Woodmere Patty 
continues to dictate the pace. Gordy Hennessy has her by the opening half in 101 and 3. Class and jig time still pocket sitting. On the outside, Island Paragon has come to third. Herod's Root looking for racing room from fourth. Then it's Clonic Hildy fifth on the outside. Charlotte's Brit, Hillview, Precious, and Bread Machine down the backside for the three quarters. Woodmere Patty battling to maintain that lead, but Island Paragon is full of pace on the outside and she moves on to the top. Class and Jig Time has third. Clonic Hildy fourth. No room for Herod's Root from fifth. The three-quarter time in 132 and two. Island Paragon out by two now with Woodmere Patty second. Clonic Hilty third, class and jig time. Then Charlotte's Brit, Harrods Root, Bread Machine and Hillview Precious off the top turn. They come down the stretch for the line. Island Paragon well in hand for Albert Bernard. They're battling for place. It's Charlotte's Brit on the far outside. Bread Machine and Clonic Kilty. Island Paragon to win it close for place between Clonic Kilty and Charlotte's Brit. And it looks like Bread Machine up for four in the time for the mile. 203 and one. Test one, two. Check one, two, three. Starters for the third race are at the gate. Gate is moving. We are underway in race number three. Eight starters in the third race from the rail out. Gordon Shumway, John Davidson, J. Al Cook, and Tim Rossetti. R.B. Down, Todd Trites. Casimir Quick with Walter Chevery. Bonds Boy, Morris Benson. Class and Jig Time with Steve Mahar. Nightly Shy, Ross McDonald. From the outside is Markham's Tech and Jill Berrio. H. Dutters, third race. Here they come. They're off a good start as they leave the line. That's Casimir quick pacing for the top. On the inside, though, Gordon Shumway takes it back quickly as they hit the first turn. They're battling for it early. Gordon Shumway and Casimir quick to the outside, bidding for it. They race by the eighth. Gordon Shumway wants the top. He'll take it as Casimir quick backs off into the two hole. RB down is racing in third, back about four lengths. To class and jig time fourth. Then Bonds boy, J.L. Cook, nightly shy. Markham's Tech trails. They're single file and well spread out by the opening quarter, 29 and two. They race into the turn and head on towards the three eighths pole and cutting it out. It is Gordon Shumway. Racing second, Casimir Quick. And on the rail third is RB Down as they race by the 3 8 pole. Class and Jig Time closes the gap in fourth, and they race through the stretch in front of the grandstand for the first time. Showing the way, Gordon Shumway, Casimir Quick, and RB Down. Here comes J.L. Cook to challenge. Now moves to fourth. Class and Jig Time fifth. Bonds Boy has cover. Moving sixth on the outside. They pace the half. 102 into the turn for the second time and they race to the 5 8 pole. It's still Gordon Shumway. He's led every step of the way. Casimir Quick and J. Al Cook has reached third, moving on the outside as they pass the 5 8 pole and they go to the three quarters. Gordon Shumway a length. Casimir Quick staying close. So is J. Al Cook. Outside third. RB down is fourth. Bonds Boy fifth. Class and Jig Time moves up on the inside. Markham's Tech. The trailer is nightly shy, and they hit the three quarters in 133 and four, and Gordon Shumway still the one to beat here. On the outside, still J.L. Cook and Casimir Quick will look for racing room. Bonds Boy hangs fourth, and we have an eighth of a mile to go. Gordon Shumway shows them home. Through the stretch, it's Gordon Shumway. J.L. Cook and Casimir Quick. Halfway through the lane, Gordon Shumway, J.L. Cook, Casimir Quick, and RB down, and here they are. At the line, Gordon Shumway tight for place. Casimir Quick and J.L. Cook. Then R.B. Down, Class and Jig Time, Bonds Boy, Markham's Tech, and Knightley Shy. Time for the mile, 2.04 and 1. Now the starter has the horses, race number 6, 8 pacers, behind the gate. 1, I'm No Lemon. 2, Exeter Romar. 3, Chantel Down. Four, Class and Jig Time. Five, Ginger's Night Charm. Six, Crested Ten. Seven, Cocan Robin. The outside eight, Oe Mod. Here they come. There. 
Racing Exeter Romar going for the early lead. Chantel Down is on the outside of him, and I'm No Lemon gets away third. Class and Jig Time fourth. Racing in fifth, Ginger's Night Charm, crested ten. Settling in sixth, racing seventh now, Cocan Robin. And the early trailer, We Maud. On down the backside they go, and Chantel Down goes for the lead. She takes it away from Exeter Romar. I'm No Lemon third, ranging up on the outside, crested ten. Now fourth, now third, and going after the leaders as they move past the quarter in 30 and four. Chantel Down cuts it out. Crested 10, up on the outside now, she wants the lead. Exeter Romar third, Ginger's Night Charm has fourth. I'm No Lemon fifth, moving on the outside from sixth is Class and Jig Time, then We Maud and Cocan Robin. They swing off the top turn and come down the stretch for the half. We got four in and four out. On the inside, Chantel down. Crested 10 moving now, showing a nose on top. Ginger's Night Charm is third, then Exeter Romar locked in fourth past the half. 102 and 1. Racing in fifth is I'm No Lemon. Then class and jig time, Wee Maud and Cocan Robin. Moving on for the 5 eights now. And crested 10 moving on to the front. Chantel down, battling back at the pylons. Ginger's Night Charm within striking distance third. Exeter Romar looks for racing room fourth. There goes Cocan Robin. Three wide. Now on to fifth as they go for the three quarters. Two leaders still battling. Crested 10 and Chantel down. Three quarters of 133 and four. And Cocan Robin now moving into contention and second. And he's driving on. Crested 10 has cleared to the front. Cocan Robin is second on the outside with Chantel down third. Exeter, Romar, and Class and Jig Time as they come down the stretch for the line. Coke Can Robin on the outside. Crested 10 on the inside. Chantel down. And We Maud up on the outside. Class and Jig Time. But Coke Can Robin cruises on to the front. That's Crested 10 in for the deuce. And Class and Jig Time 4 3 the time for that mile. 205 and 2. Now the starter has the horses, uh, race number three, a uh, field of eight, one, I see away, two, Sammy Motoring, three, Tatron Express, four, My Sweet Talker, five, Township Foxy Lady, six, Class and Jig Time, seven, Paris Hustler, the outside eight, that's Fly Dini, here they come. Pacing my sweet talker gets the first call on the inside. I see away leaving sharply also and they move on for the eighth with Sammy motoring tucking into third racing in fourth now is class and jig time then Tatron Express and Township Foxy Lady moving seventh Paris Hustler and the early trailer is Fly Dini moving on for the opening quarter my sweet talker leads it by two racing second I see away then Sammy motoring closing the gap third. Racing fourth, class and jig time. Back two and a half to Tatron Express, and they were past the opening quarter in 30 and two. Racing in six, that's Township Foxy Lady, Paris Hustler, and Fly Dini trails on their way to the three eighths, and they're all led by My Sweet Talker. Moving second, I see away. Then Sammy Motoring is third, class and jig time, with an eye to the outside from fourth now, Tatron Express. Out racing on the outside now from six is Township Foxy Lady, Paris Hustler seventh, and Fly Dini. They reach the half in 0102. On the outside now to force the issue, Sammy Motoring is at the leader's wheel. They're led still by My Sweet Talker. Moving up the inside, back to second. I see away with Sammy Motoring third. Class and Jig Time has fourth. Tatron Express fifth. Then Township Foxy Lady, Paris Hustler, and Fly Dini. As they go on for the three quarters, it's still My Sweet Talker by a length and a half. Sammy Motoring second. I see away. He is nailed to the rail third. Then Class and Jig Time and Tatron Express. Three quarters, 01, 32, and three. Paris Hustler six now. Then Township Foxy Lady and Fly Dini rounding the final turn with my sweet talker, the one to catch. I see away has had a textbook pocket trip. Racing third, Sammy Motoring, and they come off the top turn now, My Sweet Talker. Here comes I See Away on the outside. Sammy Motoring third, Township Foxy Lady and Tatron Express has some pace too. My Sweet Talker and I See Away tight, but it's going to be 
close. We'll need a photo here between my sweet talker and I see a way in the time for that mile. 204. Now the starter has the horses for the sixth race. Seven Pacers B behind the gate. One Eleanor Let's Go. Three Ginger's Night Charm. Four Crested Ten. Five Exeter Romar. Six Portrait of Janice. Seven Class and Jig Time. The outside eight. I'm no lemon. Here they come. Pacing Exeter Romar springs off the wings and goes straight to the top. That's Eleanor Let's Go on the inside in class and jig time. Ranging up now to third. Takes second place away from Eleanor Let's Go. Moving in fourth, Ginger's Night Charm Carested Ten is fifth on the outside. Then I'm No Lemon. And Portrait of Janice is the early trailer. As they move for the quarter, Exeter Romar leads by two over class and jig time. Crested 10, now moving on the outside up to third. And Eleanor Let's Go has fourth past the quarter in 30 and two. Ginger's Night Charm fifth. Now Portrait of Janice is up and driving six on the outside. I'm No Lemon is now the trailer as they move on for the three eights with Exeter Romar and class and jig time. Eleanor Let's Go third on the pylons. Crested 10 is on the outside fourth. Then Ginger's Night Charm and Portrait of Janice picks up the cover sixth. Racing seventh is I'm No Lemon as they pass in front of the stand. And John Davidson has Exeter Romar on top and they reach the half in 101 and 3. Racing second, that's class and jig time. Crested 10 on the outside is sitting third. Moving in fourth, Eleanor Let's Go, then Portrait of Janice, Ginger's Night Charm, and I'm No Lemon as they move past the five eights and head down the back stretch for the three quarters. It's still Exeter Romar. Moving second, class and jig time, has had a textbook pocket trip, and moving in third now, that's Eleanor Let's Go closing the gap. Crested 10 fading fourth, Moving to fifth now, that's Ginger's Night Charm, Portrait of Janice and I'm No Lemon, three quarters, one, thirty-two and three. Still Exeter Romar with the lead. Here comes Eleanor, let's go on the outside now to second. Class and Jig Time is at the pylons third. Ginger's Night Charm fourth as they come off the top turn and race down the stretch for home. Exeter Romar and Eleanor, let's go. Charging up on the outside, Class and Jig Time's gonna try the inside route as they come for the line, Exeter Romar, Class and Jig time, Exeter Romar to win at class and jig time. And then Eleanor Let's Go right there as well. The time for the mile. 203 and 2. Now the starter has the horses race number six. We have a field of seven. One Forest Hill Rumpus, two Portrait of Janice, three Carlot Ed, four class and jig time, five I'm No Lemon. Six, Rasputin's Dream, the outside seven, Flying Horus, here they come. They're off and pacing Carlot Ed going for the early lead, Forest Hill Rumpus on the inside, he wants it too, and from the outside, Class and Jig Time settles in at the pylons third now. Racing in fourth, that is Portrait of Janice. And I'm No Lemon has fifth. Racing sixth, Rasputin's Dream. And the early trailer is Flying Horus. Now Carlot Ed is cleared to the front. And he leads it by three and now four lengths as they move on for the quarter. Carlot Ed, Forest Hill Rumpus, and Class and Jig Time has third past the opening quarter. 30 and two. The field now. Moving closer together, and Carlot Ed shows the way on their way to the three eights. Forest Hill Rumpus second, then it is class and jig time, and moving in fourth, Portrait of Janice. On the outside, I'm No Lemon moving from fifth, then Rasputin's Dream and Flying Horus as they pass in front of the grandstand for the opening half. On top and cutting it out, Carlot Ed. Forest Hill Rumpus in the pocket, I'm No Lemon now moving third on the outside. Racing fourth, class and jig time, three by the half in 102 and three on their way round the barn turn for the five eights with Carlot Ed, Forest Hill Rumpus and I'm No Lemon on the outside Rasputin's Dream now has come to fourth. 
Class and jig time locked in fifth. Then it is Portrait of Janice and Flying Horace starts to move from the back. On down the backside they go, and they're all in pursuit of Carlot Ed. Forest Hill Rumpus nailed to the rail second. Moving third, I'm No Lemon, Rasputin's Dream fourth. Racing past the three quarters in 134 and three. Carlot Ed is the one to catch. Forest Hill Rumpus second, I'm No Lemon. Now class and jig time back to fourth. Rasputin's Dream is fifth. Then Portrait of Janice and Flying Horace. They come off the top turn and swing down the stretch for home. It's still Carlot Ed. Here comes Forest Hill Rumpus out of the pocket, and he's got lots of pace moving out of that position. Forest Hill Rumpus, and on the outside, Rasputin's Dream. Forest Hill Rumpus, tight for place between Rasputin's Dream and I'm No Lemon. And the time for that mile, 2.05 and 2. Now the starters for the sixth race, they're at the gate, and the gate is moving. We are underway with race number six. Eight starters approaching the top of the stretch. I'm No Lemon with Morris Benson. Rox Nova, Charlie Ross. Portrait of Janice with Sean Shannon. Cranbro Roy, John Davidson. Class and jig time with Steve Mahar. Whoop, there he is, Von Doyle. J.K. Winner with Brian Moore. And from the outside, Flying Horace, Lonnie Stokes. Eight starters, race six. Here they come. They're off and a good start leaving the line. Cranbro Roy bidding for it. He's off stride. Back pacing though as they drive into the first turn and they're four, five deep. Driving into that turn a good bunch and in between horses is Class and Jig Time now pacing to the top as they pass the eighth and make their way up the back stretch. Class and Jig Time with I'm No Lemon second up on the outside. Whoop, there he is, moves to second, bidding for the top. I'm No Lemon now third. Rox Nova is fourth. Up on the outside, coming on to fifth is J.K. Winner. They pass the opening quarter in 31 and four. Then it's Cranbro Roy, portrait of Janice and the trailer as they drive into the turn. And they race on to the three-eighths pole and up front and to cutting it out. It is class and jig time as they tip off the top turn and come making their way through the stretch for the half. Class and jig time, Flying Horace on the outside, racing second. He gets some cover behind the leader. I'm No Lemon is racing a third. Here comes Rox Nova, out to challenge from a fourth, the half 102 and two. Then it's Cranbro Roy, J.K. Winner, Portrait of Janice and the trailer is Whoop, there he is. Into the turn for the second time, Class and Jig Time shows the way. Rox Nova, moving on the outside, has come to second as they pass the 5 8 pole and head up the backstretch to the three quarters. Class and Jig Time, Rox Nova challenging a second, Flying Horace on the rail racing third, I'm No Lemon, moving fourth on the outside, Cranbro Roy is fifth, three wide six comes Whoop, there he is, three quarters, 135 and three. Then it's Portrait of Janice, and the trailer now is J.K. Winner, and they drive into the turn, and Class and Jig Time still with a length lead. Rox Nova hangs second, Flying Horace is third, and we have an eighth of a mile to go, and tipping off the top turn, Class and Jig Time takes them through the stretch. It's Class and Jig Time, Flying Horace back to second, Rox Nova third, Class and Jig Time's going to hold down to the line, and here they are. At the wire, class and jig time, tight for place between Rox Nova and the Flying Horace, and I'm No Lemon. Whoop, there he is. Portrait of Janice. Cranbro Roy, J.K. Winner. Time for the mile, 207. Class and jig time, a Bay Philly three years by Knightley Blue Chip. Out of Bond Flash, she by Flash about. Owned by B. Henney, Wayne Mahar, and S. McGregor. Trained by Wayne Mahar, Steve Mahar drives tonight. For class and jig time, it's the horse's fourth win of this racing season tonight in 207. Number five, class and jig time, and Steve Mahar. Now the starter has the horses, race number five. We have a field of eight, one easy end, two time to fight, three class and jig time, four Cocan Robin, five Twin B John Boy, six Confident Sabra, seven J L Cook, the outside eight just dead. Here they come.
racing time to fight looking for the lead easy end on the inside battling him and getting away in third is class and jig time confident sabra on the outside in fourth racing fifth coke can robin just ed settles into sixth then moving seventh twin b john boy in the early trailer is j l cook easy end has the top time to fight looking to make a move from second racing third is confident sabra and he has found the pylons. Moving fourth, that's Kalas and Jig Time, and they're by the quarter, 30 and four. Coke Can Robin fifth, Just Ed out and driving sixth. Then Twin B, John Boy, and J.L. Cook starts to move from the back. As they move on for the three eights, Easy End shows the way. Confident Sabra driving second on the outside, moving in third time to fight. As they come off the top turn, racing fourth class and Jig Time. Then it's Just Ed on the outside, fifth, Coke Can Robin. J.L. Cook and the trailer is Twin B. John Boy. Past the half with Easy End and Confident Sabra. They reach that mark in 103 and 2. Time to fight. Watching them battle on the front end and moving in fourth. Class and Jig Time. Round the 5 8 turn now. Coke Can Robin has fifth. Racing six, Just Ed. Then Twin B. John Boy and J.L. Cook. Going on down the backside for the three quarters. There goes time to fight. Out of the three hole now to go three wide. Down the backside, final time. Time to fight cruises on to the top. Confident Sabra second. Then it's Easy End third and Cocan Knightley. Moving into the picture fourth by the three quarters, 134 and four. On their way to the seven eights now with time to fight. Confident Sabra, Easy End. Cocan Robin out and driving from fourth now. Then class and jig time as they come off the seven eights and race down the stretch for home. Jill Berrio going for three in a row here with time to fight. Confident Sabra and Cocan Robin driving hard third as they come to the line. Time to fight wins this battle over Confident Sabra and Cocan Robin. Four three the time for that mile. Two oh five and two. B, behind the gate, one class and jig time, two Beckard Grummond, three Pegasus Apple, four after the laughter, five DC Smiles, six whoop there he is, seven Tarantum Road, the outside eight Woodmere Patty, here they come. Off stride Tarantum Road. There off and pacing Becker Drummond goes bursting off the gate, racing second class in jig time. DC Smiles is up on the outside third and racing fourth is Pegasus Apple. Moving in fifth after the laughter, then back on the pace, Tarantum Road is sixth. Whoop, there he is, seventh in the early trailer, Woodmere Patty. The field moves single file down the back stretch to the quarter, and they're led by Becker Drummond, class in jig time. Pocket sitting second, racing in third, Pegasus Apple, then DC Smiles fourth, moving in fifth after the laughter, and they go past the opening quarter in 31 and three. Tarantum Road has sixth, then whoop, there he is, and Woodmere Patty, as they move for the three eights, Becker Drummond leads now by two over class and jig time. Pegasus Apple is third, DC Smiles back to the outside from fourth, racing in fifth is after the laughter, then Tarantum Road, moving seventh, as they pass in front of the stand, that's whoop, there he is, and Woodmere Patty starts to get in gear from the back as they go past the half, and Gordy Hennessy has Becker Drummond there in 103 and 2. DC smiles up to challenge on the outside, then racing third class and jig time. Moving fourth is Pegasus Apple. After the laughter, digging in from fifth, racing sixth, whoop, there he is, then Tarantum Road swings out three wide from seventh, and Woodmere Patty sees them all. Down the backside, final time, and the field still led by Becker Drummond. DC Smiles is second, closing the gap third, class and jig time as they go by the three quarters, 134 and one. Becker Drummond and class and jig time now on to second. DC Smiles is third, moving fourth, Pegasus Apple. Then racing in fifth is whoop, there he is at the pylons after the laughter has sixth. An eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come for home. They're all in pursuit of Becker Drummond from the pocket. Here comes Class and Jig Time on the outside. Becker Drummond and Class and Jig Time with a late surge on the outside. Class and Jig Time to win it over Becker Drummond looks like after the laughter. 
four, three, the time for that mile. Two oh five and one. Find your winner of the eighth race. It's number one, class and jig time. A three year old filly by Knightly Blue Chip from the dam Bon Flash, owned by Blaine Hanna, Wayne Mahar, and Buddy McGregor. He's trained by Wayne Mahar and driven to victory this afternoon by Steve Mahar. The filly wins her fifth of the season from 31 starts and takes a new lifetime mark today, 205 and 1. That's number one, class and jig time, and Steve Mahar. Moment, three, Bellman's Dream, four, Edgewater Sambrol, five, Township Buster, six, Feature Edition, seven, class and jig time, the outside eight, time to fight. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Dynamite Treasure is on the front. Treasured Moment settling in second. Moving up third on the outside, Township Buster. And driving fourth is Miss Kimura. Racing in fifth as they go around the turn, feature edition. Then Time to Fight has sixth, Edgewater Sambrol. And Class and Jig Time trails. Moving on down the back stretch. And on top by four and a half, that's Dynamite Treasure. Treasured Moment in second. Racing in third, that is Bellman's Dream. Driving fourth on the outside, Township Buster. Feature edition is fifth. Past the opening quarter in 30 and one. On round the turn they go. And driving sixth is Time to Fight. Then Edgewater, Sambro, and Class and Jig Time trails. Moving on past the three-eighths now. And Dynamite Treasure still on top, but Treasured Moment has closed the gap. Racing in third, Bellman's Dream. Then in fourth, Feature Edition. Time to Fight has fifth. Back at the pylons now in sixth is Township Buster. Then driving seventh, Class and Jig Time. And the trailer now, but moving to the outside is Edgewater, Sambro. And they were past the half in 102 and four. Dynamite Treasure still in command. Treasured Moment has been in the pocket all the way. Driving in third, Bellman's Dream. Then moving fourth, Feature Edition is well placed. Then time to fight fifth. Racing in sixth is Township Buster. Class and Jig Time and Edgewater Sambro. Single file down the backside, final time. Dynamite Treasure still by a length. Treasured Moment now out to try him on the outside second. Moving third, Bellman's Dream. And racing up to fourth now. As they go past the three quarters in 134 and one, is time to fight. On round that final turn. Treasured Moment on the outside. Dynamite Treasure at the pylons. And moving now third is Bellman's Dream going to fan out three wide as they come down the stretch for home. Treasured Moment and Dynamite Treasure on the inside. Bellman's Dream has third. Treasured Moment now to the top. It's going to be Treasured Moment to win it over Dynamite Treasure and Bellman's Dream 4-3. The time for the mile, 2.05 two. Two and 2. Now the starters for the seventh race moving in behind the gate. Gate is approaching the top of the stretch. We have Dynamite Treasure and Von Doyle. Class and Jig Time, Wayne Mahar. Sales Convention with Todd Trites. Savage Advantage, John Davidson. Time to Fight, Tim Mercetti. Tough Ender with Steve Mahar. Bar Harbor with Gordy Hennessy. What a high hope and Jill Barrio. Here they come. They're off and Savvy's advantage, rushing it to the top from the far outside. What a high hope, wings on the strongest second. Out of the turn, Savage advantage is the leader. What a high hope, challenging up on the outside, bidding for the top as they race on by the eighth pole. And what a high hope takes the lead. Then Savage advantage, racing a second. A dynamite treasure has a third. Get along the rail and racing fourth class and jig time up from the outside. Driving on the fifth at his sales convention by the opening quarter. 30 seconds flat around the top turn. What a high hope. Leads a length and a half. Savage advantage racing a second. Dynamite treasure has third. Class and jig time fourth. Then up from the outside sales convention racing fifth. 
Swinging through the stretch now, they come driving onto the half. Up front and cutting it out. It is what a high hope. Then Savage Advantage is second. Dynamite Treasure on the outside sales convention. Following him with cover, Bar Harbor on the inside class and jig time. Then on the outside, Tough Ender and the trailer time to fight. By the half, 102, they're rid of the turn. Racing to the 5 8 pole, pacing on top. What a high hope. Leads are like for the quarter. Savage advantage of second, three wide. Burr Harbor rushing on from third, driving on. Then at the rail, Dynamite Treasure racing fourth. Sales convention in between horses, fifth. On the fur outside, tough fender. Then. Class at jig time, three quarters, 33 and two around the top turn. What a high hope and off the rail to challenge now from second comes Savage Advantage and they swing off the top turn and head for home. What a high hope. Savage Advantage coming to her on the outside, driving hard. Dynamite Treasure moves out, challenging third. What a high hope holding though. And up the line it is. What a high hope. Savage Advantage. The dynamite treasure tight between Bar Harbor and Sales Convention, then Tough Ender, Class and Jig Time, and Time to Fight, Mile and 204. Now the starters for the 10th race. They're at the gate, and the gate is moving. Tenth race starters behind the gate, approaching the top of the stretch from the rail. What a high hope with Gilles Berrio. Time to fight, Tim Merzetti. Class and jig time with Steve Mahar. Brad Zile and Brian Moore. Touch of blue and John Davidson. Savvy's advantage, Lonnie Stokes. Dynamite treasure with Vaughn Doyle and Bar Harbor, Gordy Hennessy. H. Daughters, 10th race, and here they come. They're off. What a high hope from the rail racing for the top. In between horses is time to fight. That's touch of blue in the middle of the racetrack. Racing third, and they drive into the first turn with what a high hope, quickly pacing out to a length and a half lead. Time to fight has second as they pass the eighth with touch of blue racing third. That's Savvy's advantage on the outside fourth. Glass and jig time has fifth. Then Dynamite Treasure, Brad's Isle. The trailer is Bar Harbor as they make their way to the quarter and under a tight hold is your leader past the quarter. What a high hope. Two and a half lengths and 29 and four and they drive into the turn. What a high hope, two lengths now. Racing in second, time to fight. Touch of blue has third. Outside fourth and parked is Savvy's advantage and they race by the three eights with class and jig time racing on the rail fifth and they're off the turn and through the stretch. They come racing in front of the grandstand. For the first time, your leader remains. What a high hope on top by about two lengths. Then it's time to fight in second. Touch of blue has third. They're by the half in 101 and four and they race into the turn again. It's what a high hope pacing out on top. Time to fight, and Touch of Blue has third. Savvy's advantage has been parked and hangs fourth on the outside. Class and Jig Time racing fifth. Brad's Isle moving sixth on the outside. Then Dynamite Treasure and Bar Harbor still trails, and they're up the back stretch now. To the three quarters, what a high hope. Two and a quarter lengths. Time to fight. And Touch of Blue is off the rail from third to challenge, and they're by the three quarters. 131 and four. What a high hope. Opens his lead now. Three lengths. Time to fight and Touch of Blue. Brad Zile has come to fourth. Class and Jig Time is racing fifth. Driving by the seven eights. What a high hope with a healthy five length lead. And here they come for home. What a high hope. Well in hand moves away from the field. Time to fight. Brad Zile on the outside is coming on. Touch of Blue in between horses. But up front, what a high hope. And here they are. Then Touch of Blue, Brad Zile. Followed by Time to Fight, Dynamite Treasure. Then Class and Jig Time, Bar Harbor, and Savvy's Advantage. Time for the mile. 2.01 and 3. The stretch. Touch of Blue with John Davidson. Time to Fight, Tim Mercetti. Jesse LaBelle with Jill Barrio. Class and Jig Time, Wayne Mahar, Elgin with Charlie Price, Big Dylan, Brian Moore, Dynamite Treasure, Vaughn Doyle, Savvy's Advantage, Lonnie Stokes. Here they come. 
Bear off touch of blue takes him out of there. Elgin wings up on the outside. In between them, time to fight. D ducks to the rail now, racing second. Elgin drives up on the outside, racing third. Then Jesse LaBelle is a fourth. Class and jig time fifth. Big Dylan. They swing on up the back stretch now and go racing on to the quarter pole, facing out on top. It is touch of blue by two. Time to fight racing second. Elgin's on the outside racing third. Jesse LaBelle has fourth. Big Dillon is fifth. Class jig time. Then Dynamite Treasure and Savvy's advantage. They were by the opening quarter. 30 and two fifths. They drive around the top turn. Touch of blue is the leader. Time to fight racing second. Elgin's gone to the rail racing third. And here comes Jesse LaBelle. Moving now from fourth, and they come swinging through the stretch. Racing on to the half. Up front and cutting it out. Touch of blue. Jesse LaBelle on the outside. Up the leader's wheel coming on. Then it is time to fight. Big Dillon now moving fourth. Elgin. They were by the half. 102. Out of the turn now for the second time. Jesse LaBelle. Pacing on top a length and a half. Touch of blue is second. Time to fight is racing third. Big Dillon is fourth. Three wide. There goes Dynamite Treasure. Rushing on from fifth. Then it's Elgin at the frill. Savvy's advantage. And uh, class and jig time. The trailer is set. Go to the three-quarter pole. Jesse LaBelle, the leader by that marker. 132 and 2. They go into the top turn. Jesse LaBelle now out by four. And is making it more. Possibility of the sixth one of this afternoon for Jill Barrio. At the head of the lane, Jesse LaBelle and Joel Barrio all alone. Men driving on for second, Elgin. And time to fight and up the line. Here he is for the sixth time this afternoon. Jill Barrio, Jesse LaBelle, Elgin. Time to fight, touch of blue. Tight between Big Dylan and Class and Jake time. The dynamite treasure, Savvy's advantage. Time for the mile, 202 and 4. Behind the gate. Gate is moving and approaching the top of the stretch, field of eight. Provisions to win with Jill Mario, JL Cook, Tim Mercetti. Class and jig time with Steve Mahar. Rasputin Stream, Sean Shannon. Calavita Harbor, Tony Watson. Drip Drop with John Davidson. Impartial Observer, Charlie Price. Confident Sabra, Rick Armstrong. Walter Akerley, this race is for you, and here they come. Drip Drop off stride. They're off and driving to the top of his class in jig time, and on the outside, Confident Sabra wings for and takes the lead. Confident Sabrin on the inside, racing with her neck and neck at now class and jig time. Back on top again, Rasputin's dream is on the run. They're on up the back stretch, racing to the quarter, facing out on top at his class and jig time. Confident Sabra now racing second, provisions to win has a third. Driving up on the outside, impartial observer is a fourth. Calavita Harbor racing fifth. They were by the opening quarter, 31 seconds. Driving in at the top turn, pacing out on top, class and jig time. Leads by two, confident Sabra, racing a second. Impartial observer now third on the outside. Provisions to win his fourth. Coming up along the rail, Calavita Harbor. Then J.L. Cook and Rasputin Stream and far back drip drop. They're through the stretch now, driving on to the half. Pacing out on top, class and jig time. Impartial observer on the outside at the leader's wheel. The half and four and one. They drive into the turn now for the second time. Class and jig time shows the way. Impartial observer now lopped on the leader, bids for the top. Confident Sapper racing third at the rail. On the outside, provisions to win. A racing up a fourth. Then Calavita Harbor, J.L. Cook, Rasputin Stream, far back, drip drop. And now, impartial observer grabs the top. He's the leader as they go to the three-quarter pole. They're by that marker now. By it in 36 and 3. Head of the top turn. Impartial observer, strong on the outside. Provisions to win. Lap down the leader now. They're neck and neck and provisions to win. Comes charging to the top on the outside as they leave the 7 eighths. 
provisions to win. Then racing a second impartial observer. Class and Jake time third. J.L. Cook comes on strong from fourth. But as they come to the line, it is going to be provisions to win moving away. At the line, provisions to win. Impartial observer, J.L. Cook. Class and Jake time. Calavita Harbor, Confidence Zebra, Rasputin Stream, and Drip Drop. And the time for the mile, 2-9. behind the gate. The gate is moving and approaching the top of the stretch we have. Lynn's Fortune with Lonnie Stokes. Provisions to win and Jill Berrio. Dynamite Treasure with Von Doyle. Forest Hill Rumpus with John Davidson. My Sweet Talker, Morris Benson. Edgewater Samboro, Bill Nicholson. Big Dylan, Brian Moore. Class and Jig Time, Steve Mahar. Here they come. They're often pacing with the lead. Lynn's Fortune in along the trail. My Sweet Talker charging up on the outside, winging for the lead, has it on the outside. My Sweet Talker. Lynn's Fortune is racing his second. Dynamite Treasure has a third. Then provisions to win. Racing fourth, they're neck and neck for the top. As they race up the back stretch and on the inside, Lynn's Fortune takes the lead back again. On the outside, My Sweet Talker hangs a second. Dynamite Treasure has a third. Provisions to win is racing fourth, quarter 30 seconds. Edgewater Sambro racing a fifth. They swing around the top turn now and drive to the three-eighths pole. Up on top again on the outside, My Sweet Talker. And on the inside, Lynn's a fortune. Here comes provisions to win. Charging up on the outside follows cover. And along the rail, Dynamite Treasure heads fourth. Edgewater Sambro is a fifth as they come to the half. 101. Half in 101. That is four is still rumpus. Big Dillon. The trailer is class and jig time. Into the turn now they drive to the five-eighths. And my sweet talker, and there goes provisions to win. Charging up on the outside, bids four and grabs the top. They're up the back stretch. On to the three quarter pole, provisions to win. My sweet talker. On the outside, Lynn's Fortune, Edgewater Sambro, three wide, racing on. Edgewater Sambro now gets to third, is going on to second. 132 and two by the three quarter pole. Around the top turn, provisions to win. Edgewater Sambro closing in on the leader, a strong a second. Then My Sweet Talker and Lynn's a fortune, Dynamite Treasure. Then Big Dylan, they swing for home with a good lead, provisions to win. Edgewater Sambro is good for second. They come to the line, two leaders by themselves at the line, provisions to win. Then Edgewater Sambro, then Spook and Jig Time, Dynamite Treasure, Big Dylan. Boris Jill Rumpus, Lynn's Fortune, My Sweet Talker. Time for the mile. Two old, three and four. Now the starters for the seventh race. They're moving in behind the gate. Gate is moving and approaching the top of the stretch. We have My Sweet Talker at Morris Benson, Class and Jig Time Steve Mahar. Impartial observer, Charlie Price. Our Egan Knock with John Davidson. Time to fight, Von Doyle. Julia Alam with Brian Moore. Browns LR and Jill Vario. Angels Class with Todd Trites. And here they come. They're off. Time to fight. Rushes for and he grabs the top. My sweet talker. She's racing second in along the rail. Class and jig time is third. Impartial observer is racing a fourth, rushing up on the outside, Julia L.M., then in along the rail, Oregon Knock, as they go on up the back stretch for the quarter pole in time to fight. He's cutting it out, leads by two. My Sweet Talker's racing second, then Class and Jig Time is a third, Julia L.M. on the outside. She's Park Hangs a fourth, Impartial Observer fifth, 30 and two by the quarter. Then it's Oregon Knock, then Brown's L.R. and Angel's Class trailing the field, and they race around the top turn. They're pacing with the lead. A length and a half, it's time to fight. My Sweet Talker's racing second. 
through the stretch now. Here they come, racing to the half. Up front and showing the way. Time to fight. My Sweet Talker lays second. Impartial Observer's on the move. Rushing on to second. Goes half to the leader as they go racing on by the half. By the half and three and two. And they're into the turn now. Driving to the five eights. Pacing on top on the outside. Impartial Observer on the inside. Time to fight back on top again. Impartial Observer second. They're neck and neck as they straighten out into the back stretch and drive onto the three quarter pole. Now impartial observer by a neck. Time to fight. My sweet talker moving third. Our Egan Knock class and Jig Time Angels class. Browns LR and Julia LM has pulled up by the three quarter pole, 33 and four, and around the top turn. Pacing with the lead, it is impartial observer. My sweet talker is now second. Time to fight, racing third. They hit the head of the lane, they head for home. And it's the impartial observer by himself. A battle on for second. My Sweet Talker has it right now. Class and Jake Time comes up on the inside and up the line all alone. Impartial observer. Then Browns LR tight between My Sweet Talker, Arig, and Nog. Time for the mile. 205. Chasing the leader as they round the turn and head up the back stretch. Special Star now takes the top. Township Buster has second. Class and Jig Time is racing third. Exeter Romar has fourth. On the rail fifth is Forest Hill Rumpus, then Angels Class. Browns LR on the trailer is time to fight. They're tightly bunched but racing single file. Opening quarter pace, 30 and two fifths, and there's movement on the outside as they drive into the turn. Moving from the back of the pack comes Browns LR. But up front, though, showing the way is Special Star on top of length. Township Buster racing in second. Class and Jig Time a third. Browns LR moves to fourth as they come off the top turn and come racing through the stretch for the half and cutting it out. Special Star, and here comes Browns LR. Charging up second on the outside. Following with cover is Exeter Romar. Township Buster on the rail now fourth. The half and 103 and two. Then the class and jig time on the move, so it's time to fight. Forest Hill Rumpus in the trailer now is Angels class as they drive into the turn for the second time and Special Star holds a length lead. They pass the 5 eights. Browns LR at the leader's wheel challenging a second. Township Buster is third. On the outside, class and jig time fourth. Exeter Romar on the rail racing fifth. Time to fight has come to sixth on the outside. Then Forest Hill Rumpus in the trailer is Angels class. Special Star holds a half-length lead. Three quarters and one, 34 and four. They're bunching up though. Into the turn, Special Star a neck. Browns LR tipping out three wide is class and jig time. Township Buster will look for racing room fourth along the rail. Exeter Romar is there, and they tip off the top turn and fan out three wide through the stretch. Special star, but they've caught him. In between horses, Browns LR up on the inside, but on the outside, Class and Jig Time takes the top now. It's Class and Jig Time. Browns LR and Township Buster, and here they are. At the line, Class and Jig Time wins it. Browns LR and Township Buster, Forest Hill Rumpsis. Exeter Romar, followed by Angels Class, Special Star, and Time to Fight. Time for the mile, 2.07. And parading back now, the winner of our first race today. It's number one, Class and Jig Time. They mare four years by Knightley Blue Chip out of Bond Flash. She by Flash about. Owned by Blaine Henney, Wayne Mahar, and uh, S. McGregor. Trained by Wayne Mahar. Steve Mahar drives today. Class and Jig Time picks up his first win this racing season this afternoon in 207. Number one, Class and Jig Time and Steve Mahar. Now the starters for the 10th race. They're at the gate, and the gate is moving. We're underway with our 10th race. Eight starters approaching the top of the stretch. Bread Machine with Steve Mahar. Pegasus Apple, Lonnie Stokes. Class and Jig Time, Wayne Mahar. Big Dillon with Brian Moore. Sonny Mack, John Davidson. Calavrita Harbor with Tony Watson. 
Portrait of Janice, Rod Gauguin, and from the outside, Akadu and Jill Barrio. H. Daughters, 10th race, here they come. and leaving the line. Class and jig time bidding for it from the inside. So is Pegasus Apple. Out there third, Big Dylan, and they drive into the first turn with Pegasus Apple now assuming command outside class and jig time. On the rail is Bread Machine. Three wide as they pass the eighth. Up the back stretch goes Big Dylan. They're three wide for early supremacy and on the outside. Class and jig time bidding for it in between horses. Pegasus Apple. Big Dylan's three wide racing third. Then Bread Machine fourth, Sunny Mac is fifth, Cal Lavrida Harbor, Akadu and Portrait of Janice in the quarter in 31 and 1 and now on the outside. Big Dylan shows on top. Pegasus Apple has second class and jig time is back to third. Bread Machine has fourth, Sunny Mac racing fifth, that's Akadu working up on the outside from seventh and they drive off the turn and come racing through the stretch on way to the half and cutting it out. It is Big Dylan. Pegasus Apple in class and jig time is racing in third. Here comes Bread Machine off the rail to challenge from fourth. Racing fifth, moving with cover is Sunny Mac. The half in 103 and two. Then it's Cal Lavrida Harbor, Akadu, and Portrait of Janice is your trailer. And they drive into the clubhouse turn for the second time. Big Dylan enjoys a length and a quarter lead as they pass the five-eighths pole. Up the back stretch now. They race to the three quarters. Big Dylan, Bread Machine is now moving second at the leader's wheel and challenging. Pegasus Apple and that's Sunny Mac moving fourth on the outside. Class and jig time is fifth. Akadu, Calavrita Harbor, Portrait of Janice, the three quarters, one, 36 and one. Into the turn, Big Dylan, three parts of a length. Bread Machine is hanging on the outside second. Pegasus Apple racing third along the rail will look for room when they head for home. Sunny Mac has come to fourth and they're by the seven eighth pole. Tipping off the top turn and through the stretch. Bread Machine looking for room on the outside. It's Big Dylan though. Pegasus Apple moves up on the inside. Big Dylan, Bread Machine. Now it's Bread Machine, Big Dylan. Here's Sunny Mac as well. And here they are at the line. Bread Machine wins it. Sunny Mac tight for the rest. Big Dylan and Pegasus Apple, class and jig time, Akadu, portrait of Janice and Calavrita Harbor. Time for the mile, 208. Browns LR with Jill Barrio, oh. Miss Tahoe with Tony Watson, Bruce Yaff with Brian Moore, Special Star and Steve Mahar, Burst of Fury, Von Doyle, Mystic Ideal with Charlie Price. Here they come. They're off and going to the top. It is a special star. And along the rail, class and jig time is a racing second. Head of the turn, special star. Class and jig time are racing second. Browns LR has third. Miss Tahoe works up from the outside. She is a fourth. Bruce Jeff first to Fury. And the trailer is Mystic Ideal as they work their way up the back stretch on way to the quarter pole. Facing out on top, special star has the best of it by a length and a half. And then class and jig time is racing second. They were by the opening quarter in 31 and one. Swinging into the top turn, special star shows the way, a length and a half. Class and jig time is second. Browns LR racing third. Miss Tahoe Park, she hangs a fourth. Then it's Bruce Jeff, first of Fury. Mystic Ideal trails, and they come on driving through the stretch, racing to the half. Up front and cutting it out, special star number two. Then class and jig time is second. Miss Tahoe hangs a third. Browns L R the half and one oh three and two. And they're rid of the turn now. Racing to the five eighths and special star moves out. He's leading now by about three and a half. Then racing second, class and jig time. Miss Tahoe Park hangs a third. Browns L R fourth at the rail. Bruce Chef, burst of fury, tipping out way wide. And Mystic Ideal trails at the rail as they go to the three quarters. And Special Star is off by himself. He's out by six as they go by the three quarters. One, thirty-two, and three. Into the top turn, Special Star. And then racing second class and jig time. Then on the outside three wide is Bruce Chef. They make the turn for home, but it's all Special Star this time. Special Star pacing away from him. He's on top by about six. 
Then class and Jake time racing a second. It is going to be special star. He wins it. Then class and Jake time. Browns held the R. Then Mystic Ideal, Brew Chef, Burst of Fury, and Miss Tahoe. Time for the mile 204 at one. Here's Starlet. Number five is Road Eyes, and the sixth entry on the outside is Class and Jig Time. Gate approaching the head of the stretch, and here they come. They're off and pacing a Woodmere Starlet. Quickest off the gate on the outside. Class and Jig Time driving three wide on their way to the opening eighth mile marker. But why what's new has the most speed and on the run swinging Sue down as they go past the opening eighth pole now. The field clears safely and they head down the back stretch for the opening quarter. Why what's new is on top. On the outside driving second and now looking for the inside is Class and Jig Time. Moving up to grab second spot, Woodmere Starlet. Now Class and Jig Time has third. Then light down, and they were past the opening quarter. In 29 and two. Racing in fifth is Road Eyes. Then Swing and Sue down, back pacing, but out of contention now as they go past the 3 eighths mile station. Why, what's new on top? In the pocket, Woodmere Starlet. Then Class and Jig Time sitting in third. Moving into fourth now. That's light down with road eyes and swing and sue down as they move in front of the grandstand for the first time. Why, what's new? And Norris Rogers showing the way. And they're on past the half. And moving for the five eights now. Half mile was reached in 101 and three. Why, what's new? And still in second, right in the garden spot, that's Woodmere Starlet. Class and jig time third, then light down, and Road Eyes, Swing and Sue Down, has pulled up as they head for three quarters now, and Why What's New still in command. Moving to the outside now, Class and Jig Time trying to mount a challenge from third. Racing in second is Woodmere Starlet, and light down is a closer fourth, Road Eyes fifth, and Why What's New had them by three quarters in 131 and one. Why What's New and Woodmere Starlet, Class and Jig Time on the outside third, Light down has fourth, just over an eighth of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come for home. Why What's New is led all the way. Here comes a Woodmere Starlet, moving out three wide, class and jig time. Three of them right across the track as they come for the line. Class and jig time up on the outside. Why What's New, class and jig time. Class and jig time wins it. Then Why What's New and Woodmere Starlet, four, three. Time for that mile, 2.04. This could be any kind of horse here, this four-year-old mare. Last three times out, started from post seven, didn't do much for second. But then number three is Anna Beach with two in a row. And pretty now, the starters for the 11th and final this afternoon. It's a condition pace going for a purse of 800 and fifty dollars. The one is Miss Swish, shown by Sylvia McDonald of, of St. John. The driver, Ross McDonald. The two is Class and Jig Time. She's owned by Blaine Hanney of Rexton and Stuart McGregor of St. John. The driver, Steve Mahar. The three is Anna Beach, owned by Milton Downey of St. John. The driver, Steve Mason. The four is Becker Drummond, owned by Giselle Bernard and Thomas Glynn of Moncton. The driver, Gordy Hennessy. Five, Paris Hustler, owned by John Dunn of St. Martin's and Rod Gogan of St. John. Rod Gogan in the sulky. The six is Edgewater Sambro, owned by Bill Nicholson Sr. of St. John. The driver, Brian Moore. Seven, Second Bell, owned by Alonzo LeBlanc of Bactouche. The driver, Gilles Berrio. And the eight is Feature Edition, owned by the N. Legier Stables of Robichaux. The driver is Alan Jones. Eight starters. Seventh and final of the afternoon. Eight starters behind the gate approaching the top of the stretch. There's Miss Swish with Ross McDonald, Class and Jig Time, and Steve Mahar. Anna Beach and Steve Mason. Becker Drummond with Gordy Hennessy. Paris Hustler, Rod Gogan. Edge Water Sambro with Brian Moore. Second Bell, Gil Berrio, and from the outside, Feature Edition, and Alan Jones. Eight starters, 11th and final. Here they come. They're off and 
leaving the line. Miss Swish from the rail racing for the top, and she takes it. That's Edgewater Sambro driving up on the outside. Class and Jig Time grabs second. Edgewater Samro goes to third as they race into the first turn. Anna Beach has fourth. By the eighth pole, Becker Drummond racing fifth on the outside. Feature edition is sixth. Then it's Paris Hustler, the trailer, as they head to the quarter. Second bell. Up the back stretch, Miss Swish in command on top, a length and a half. Class and Jig Time and racing third. It's Edgewater Sembro. Miss Swish takes them through the opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. Driving into the turn, they head to the three-eighths with Miss Swish cutting it out. Class and Jig Time sitting pretty. Edgewater Sambro under a tight hold is racing third. Anna Beach has fourth, and they're by the three-eighths. Racing off the top turn, they come driving through the stretch in front of the grandstand for the first time with Miss Swish in command. Class and Jig Time is out to challenge now from second. Edgewater Sambro racing with cover. Second over third, and they're by the half. Miss Swish takes them through the half and 102 with class and jig time out and challenging racing third it's edgewater sambro and they're into the turn for the second time driving to the five eights miss swish on top just a length class and jig time is sitting pretty second edgewater sambro racing third anna beach is with the leaders and is fourth becker drummond drives fifth then it's paris hustler feature edition second bell tips out three wide from the back of the pack to the three quarters though it's miss swish she's led throughout the race and opens up two links and they're there at the three quarters 131 and one driving into the third reading to the seven eights it's miss swish pacing a third quarter in 29 and one she's the leader at the seven eights class and jig time and edgewater sambro out challenging third man of beach racing fourth and here they come for home Miss Swish, class and jig time. Edgewater Sambro on the outside coming on. Miss Swish, class and jig time. Edgewater Sambro at the line. Miss Swish, and here they are. She wins it. Then class and jig time. Edgewater Sambro, Becker Drummond, Anna Beach, followed by Paris Hustler. Then feature edition and second bell. Time for the mile, 201 and 3. That's where she